Okay, so today I'm going to show you how I made this template in DaVinci Resolve. I'm going to show you the whole behind the scenes and everything so that you know what this is like. It's not too bad, but it is a little bit of different things that make it all feel like a cohesive piece. And so the first thing that I did, I always start out with like a background node that like sets a color. And the next thing that we did was we grabbed a texture and I grabbed a kind of like aged paper texture, something like this would have been good to like, we could re even replace this one with this texture. And this is even a texture that like will show you the end result and it's going to be still looking like it's aged. And so that's the whole goal is to make it look like it's newspaper. So next we transform that. So we merge those two together to get this so that it looks like it's aged paper. Next, what I did was I grabbed a text node and this is where I wrote breaking news. And I used like Times New Roman because Times New Roman is used for a lot of newspapers and stuff. So I wanted to make it feel like it was a newspaper, right? And so I grabbed the text node and I put some fast noise on top of it. You can kind of do whatever you want. The point is that the fast noise needs to kind of be animated so that it becomes more contrast and more bright as the animation goes on. So you can see over here that the contrast and brightness goes up so that it reveals more of that text as the animation goes on. And then with the text, you want to make sure that you keep, you have the right on animation going. So you animate the right on so that it writes itself on over the set amount of frames that you give it. And that way, when you merge it together, it just looks like it's bleeding in. Do the same thing with like a background little like bar so that the bar animates in as well. So you'll see all of that come together in this merge here. When we merge it on here, you'll see it kind of like, it looks like it's bleeding on. So the way you do that is you create a polygon, which is just a rectangle or a line. You just create one line, create a mask with the background here and you merge them together and you get this thing that looks like it's bleeding on as if it's been just inked into the um, into the paper. So that's the whole section of just this breaking news. As we go on down here, when we get to this merge, right, you see all of this text start popping up and it's like, it looks like it's writing on and blurring out. And so the way I did that was, I just took a bunch of text and went to a lorem ipsum website and just generated a bunch of fake text and just pulled it up different sizings. So I just did like force monospace over here as the animation. And you just let it change its spacing here. And that makes it look like it's moving around. And you just merge them all together and you give it a nice blur to make sure that the breaking news stays the main thing. Um, that way your focus is on bringing news, not on the tech. And then lastly, I just did a little transform that like just zoomed out so that it looks like, oh my gosh, there's something happening. And then boom, like all the text goes blurry and breaking news. So you're just, this kind of serves for something to cut through. So like if you're coming out of it, you can just cut into the breaking news. And so the way this looks in the spline editor for this last transform here is you want it to get this little like S here, backwards S, so that the, um, it kind of does this like pull out and push back in. So it pulls out a little bit too far and then pushes back in. You can see that here. Oh, oh, there it goes. So like, it's just like, a little bit too far and then push back in to settle. Um, that way it gives it just a little bit more life. That's pretty much how this was made it was just a bunch of background nodes and text nodes with some fast noise to make sure that it looks all like bleeding in and everything. I know this isn't the absolute best tutorial, but if you have any questions or want 
a little bit more in-depth look at how it was made, um, just let me know. This is the basic way of how I put it together. Um, and if you want any other templates or want to know how to make anything else, just let me know. I, that's kind of what I like to do. So that's how I made this breaking news template.